Hi friends, we will learn about Python imaging library. This library we can use it for uh, processing the image, open the image and manipulate it on we can even create new images, add lines, circles and uh, rectangles and create various various uh, images by mixing, merging, rotating and all and we can create even thumbnails and the important part is we can uh, take some uh, blank templates like uh, blank certificates and take data from the, our uh, database table with the say student mark and all and we can create certificates on the fly so say say 100 students certificates to be printed we can take the blank certificate take the data from the database student table and create those certificates we'll learn all about this we'll start from here this is a blank file in this first we'll import our py uh, uh, pillow or python imaging library so for that we'll say from pil import image so we are working on image now so but if you are not installed it then just pip installed pillow don't use pip install pil it is not pil it is pillow so pip install pillow so you are uh, in your command prompt so it will be installed now after this let me just uh, paste the path where i am going to store it the new file i am going to create so this is the uh, file name in the png format this is the path where I am storing. In your case, you based on your local path, you can change this. Now let me just create the image object. Now here I am creating it uh, equal to image dot new. It's a new image. What the format I am going to use is RGB. Now next is what's the width and height of it? Note that it must be a tuple. So I am giving a 400 and 200 so with this 400 height is 200 here now what should be the color the color is i am just giving a hex code you can give a uh, color words also so i am giving let me just any color there is no sorry one i have to write then f1 then cc slightly yellowish background faint yellow background color this is now the once this is created i can either display it or i can even save it so let me just show it once so let's see how this works now i am just executing the you can see this is uh, this should create the display the image here it is so you can see the image this is just a rectangle we have created i must save it also so for that i will image dot save and the path of variable i have declared it at the line number three so at this location this file or this rectangle will be saved that's all now this if i run this this will show and save also if i don't want i'll just comment this line and go for only creating and saving so now that is saved in the particular location now okay fine this is how we'll go for a new file now suppose the existing file is there i want to see that file so here i have a sample file cat.png at the same location in your case you can keep on changing it now this line i will not use i will hope close this now here i am okay uh, below that i am creating the image again object then image open now where i will open it because i am giving the path variable here mode is read only so r we have given now here this particular path your case you change it and that i am using it now what happens once i have opened it now let me just see this and comment so what i am doing is i am using the opening it and then displaying it let me save this and running once you uh, open okay this is is open o is sorry this o is in lower case now let me run it again you this particular file if it, it is picked up from the location next particular mode o m or a lot of mistakes this time below that i am I, below here i am getting all the error messages so let me run this again here here it is the cat image 
let's collect some details of the about the image what you have created now or we have read it now so for that uh, just here the display will come up so uh, let's first try here come out and see what format it is now we'll print them to the consult image format now this, accordingly i am writing few more also we'll get it now again print now this format is it will give now image mode it's a pixel mode and rgb all this so is i am giving mode now let's come our more practical utility will be what is the size of the image now we'll say image dot size now this will return here tuple telling me what's the width and height of it now suppose i specifically want height only so i will say print height so this will give me the height similarly let's give get the print then width okay so let's stop here and see what's the output i'm just saving this going printing all the uh, okay the so so one is there so it is picking up rest uh, you can see here uh, i will just watch here here all details are printed now you can see the first one is format then the mode then the size here 620 by 500 it's a tuple then the height is uh, 500 width is 620 then one more important thing is here is i will just say also print info so all details will be printed now let me but before that okay let's run this okay again the cat is shown here it is all this infos dpi comment everything all the details whatever is stored along with the image is displayed let us clear this go up remove all these points now here let's try to rotate the image in a particular angle so and we can even save it in that so here first we are reading and uh, open the path then i will create here img2 equal to now img dot rotate how much i am giving okay initially let's give 45 you can give whatever angle it is now here i will say image to so because this particular rotation i want to say this so i am not saving it let's see how this rotation works you can see this uh, image is rotated by 45 degree let's resize these uh, pictures whatever we are reading for that we'll just change we'll go for a bigger size picture so i am saying jump now even after resizing i can save this one also so i what i will do i will just put it here one more so see, it is not a new image it is reading actually path of old so no it is path only i am writing comment then this is where i will be storing it so i will give it as path 2 now here i will see say jump and the new file name is i will uh, give it resize so this will create a, a new image here now this is no more required new is not using so i'll open at the uh, path mode is read now i just want let's see the what the original picture is so i am image so now this will show me now what i am going to do is rotate is not no more required now i'll create image new now this one i will create image resize now while resizing i had to give a tuple so inside that i am creating a tuple what should be my width 200 by 200 now here whatever the width and height i am giving that size it will be generated but note that say it will not maintain the aspect ratio because the aspect ratio maintain means i have to use the thumbnail that you will see next but note that this is i am specifying maintain this width and height and resize it so here i am now image new so or rather i will what i will do now i will print both the one print image size this is our original one now after that whatever we have created now image new dot size size we know just now we have discussed it returns as a tuple saying that what is the width and height of it now what next we will do is here same thing image new so 
now fine that will show me plus what I, more one more step is i will save this one image new dot save and here i am giving path 2 because path 2 is here i have created so this particular i am giving it here so for, i am resizing to 200 by 200 then i am printing to the console what is the size of it print uh, so the size of the original picture and after resize also saving this now let's run and see how it is uh, something I did a mistake uh, sorry I think I mind this thing uh, error file RB where, where is mm, line in open testing jump PNG F testing images jump PNG I think somewhere I missed it oh this time my sample files are not PNG so they P G J P so I am both I am changing saving now let's see what happens uh, running it yeah here it is the original one this uh, this file and here it is once more it has shown the thumbnail so this thumbnail size you can see it's 200 by 200 irrespective of what is my aspect ratio in the source file when I am going to create thumbnail, I am maintaining the aspect ratio of it. But I can still specify what should be my maximum width and maximum height. So here it is image. Uh, so let it be there. Now below that I am removing all. So here it is up to this point. I am just reading the my original image and showing it. Now if I want, I can display the my image size. This is my original image size, not uh, thumbnail. So size then now let me create the thumbnail thumbnail now what i am giving is is inside that it's a tuple so 200 by 200 if it, this is the maximum whichever is maximum it will take it adjust accordingly but may, it will maintain the aspect ratio that's the difference now i will just save it but saving i am doing it in path to different one so path to declared at the top so uh, now let me just again print my uh, image also now this time it has reduced now I, I just want that it should let me show the uh, thumbnail also so that's all now here after this the thumbnail is created so let's run it and see how this works here it is the original I should see the thumbnail also here it is the thumbnail is created and it is meant you just see slight difference the width is more than the height because the aspect ratio is maintained we'll pick up a, another image so for that we will use the crop to uh, take out the particular part of the image the area of a image so you have to declare a box here so for that let's pick up another image i have so sample image only jpeg okay fine so this is now I, if I want to save it, I will save it cat crop to fine. So this is the where if I want to save it. Okay, let it be. Now this is I am opening this particular one first one and showing it. And if you want what's the size of it, let no this line will keep it. Now below line I am just removing this line. Now here what I am going to do is I am declaring a box, a variable. A tuple I am declaring so what is just see it, these are the numbers coordinates I am giving this is top left uh, 65 sorry top left uh, x value then 65 then 470 then I am giving 550 okay you may ask me this is I am writing here the uh, particular area image this is a box so top left to bottom right uh, coordinates I have given now that then after that I am creating image crop equal to image crop in box now you may ask how I exactly I got this coordinates always remember the top left is 0 0 and then you think and once again these are all by trial and error if I'll change this number instead of a head of the image I will get something else here or something you can experiment by changing that so this is the coordinates only I have created used and created the box now image crop I have created now let me just uh, image crop I will let me save it first this time path 2 
now why all this now i will just uh, if you want that's uh, what should what is the size of this cropped image crop dot size let me put it inside a print i am just printing to the console what's it. and again the i have the image crop image save i am not shown it so image crop dot so so now it will show us what is the one so let me remove this one fine so now what i am doing is creating a box cropping it image crop new one i am creating saving it at path to so this particular area and i uh, let's see what is the output of it so i am running this let's just see this uh this is the original now original picture now i should yeah here you just see this is the cropped picture part of it i can't accommodate here you can see this this is there so this rectangle is starting from here going 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 like this so as you have to put a trial and error you can pick up the only ear if you want pick up the only nose and mouth whatever you want you can pick up so the, this is all about your cropping of image but uh, that's all we'll stop here because next we will move how you'll draw lines rectangles dynamic colors and circles all those we'll learn and then we'll move towards taking data from the database and create the images on the file here also we have created some new 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 images on the fly but we are not integrated data to it so that part we'll see next and i'll request you please uh, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching